I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and we've spent the last 10 years living off the grid, traveling, and exploring. First, it was North America in a tiny home on wheels, and now it's the world on keels. We made it all the way to the remote islands of Tonga, hauled out for cyclone season, and took a break to visit family for the holidays. The original plan was to continue sailing the world, but COVID. For the last six months, we've been stuck in Fiji, but today, we were granted permission to board a repatriation flight to Tonga. Landed. When we landed, they told us no filming, no photography. So I think I should bring you up to speed. We are now in the Tanoa Hotel. Everyone here has been super friendly. The process has been pretty slow because they're keeping everybody socially distanced and they're bringing people in waves down to orientation, COVID tests. This COVID test, it was like something you would see in a movie. We walked around the corner and it's like this shield and these gloves that come out and you stick your head up to the screen and they poke you with the <laughs> with the swab. Welcome to our quarantine facility here in Nukalufa, Tonga. Well, it's a very short tour, but I will give you a tour of our room. We've got the bed, a TV, a shelving area with these are our few snacks that we brought with us and now i'm wishing we would have gotten a lot more because this is all we have for two weeks poor planning on our part i suppose well coffee and tea area of course we brought our own coffee and tea because instance for emergencies only we have a little refrigerator here which came with a couple of milks in it for the coffee and tea and a bathroom and a shower but the most important thing is our outside time. And luckily, we have a balcony because this is a strict 14 days of quarantine. And when I say strict, I really do mean strict. There is absolutely no leaving our room. We have to stay in here. This is our, I guess, our only outside time. And yeah, it's quarantine. One very important item that is included in this room, air conditioning. And one very important item that is not in this room is alcohol. Uh, there is a very strict no alcohol during this quarantine. We didn't get a reason as to why. Well, I mean, good challenge anyway, right? 14 days no alcohol. If you can't do that, we've got a problem. <laughs> So, no alcohol, working out, editing. It's going to be a productive 14 days. Hopefully. If we don't go crazy. Yeah. She almost broke her neck, staring out at California. Held everything she wanted in this life. Cassette tapes in the deck, so tired of living in slow motion. It is. Day 18, <laughs> and we are obviously out of the government uh, quarantine, and we are now into home quarantine. So we had 14 days in the government facility, and we have seven days here in the home quarantine, which for us means an Airbnb, because while well, our home is not on this island. I'm gonna give you the two cent tour of our Airbnb here. Living area, which we use for working out, kitchen, which we use for, well, obviously, kitchen stuff. Nice big workstation. Yeah. But the most important part is out here. Our boat is a hundred something miles that way. I wanna talk about how we got here. And obviously we were super nervous about getting here in the last video because, well, we didn't know. We thought maybe there was a 20% chance we'd actually make it on that flight because borders aren't open in Tonga and the repatriation flight is mainly for citizens. So as soon as we got that notification that we are being considered, we just made it a priority to get off Satara and get everything we needed 
to make that flight happen. And I think it was the right decision because once we landed in Tonga, we read an article in the local newspaper that talked about the flight. Only 38 passengers were repatriated from Fiji out of the 56 that had registered because of issues with obtaining tests and the cost of the tickets. Which explains why we didn't get that notification till 10.30 p.m. for our 10 a.m. flight because they were giving priority to their citizens. But right now, we're just so grateful to be here, a hundred miles away from Curiosity. I mean, it's so close and here I am for the first time probably in my life, I'm looking forward to boat projects. We got a, a stack this tall of boat work to be done and I am actually looking forward to it. And I have gone round and round with what to share and what to tell you. And to be honest, I'm just not sure because the moment that we landed, we were told no photos, no videos. We were given packets of information that also said no photos, no videos. So I'm not entirely sure what the government wants us to share and not share. So that's tricky. <laughs> We shared the inside of the hotel because that's the Tanoa Hotel. We didn't show you anything you couldn't have seen online. Uh, but I think it's more for protection of the other fellow passengers that were on that flight. I don't really know. We haven't gotten an answer. And honestly, they don't owe us one. We are guests of their country. We do whatever they tell us to do. And we're happy to do that because we're just so stinking grateful to be here. So if you want me to do two weeks of quarantine and then another seven days of quarantine, that's what I'm gonna do and I feel like that's where we are. There's all kinds of things I would have loved to have shown you, like the fact that we did Tongan Zuma several days while in quarantine. That was our like outside time, which was still inside, but we were all socially distanced and we wore our masks, but we did Zumba together and that was like the highlight of our days, those days that we got to get out and do that because it was the one time we got to leave our room. Aside from that, home quarantine is exactly that. We were told if you violate your home quarantine, if you leave the house, you will be immediately arrested and fined. So they are serious as a freaking heart attack about all of this. Government officials come by once a day, check on us, make sure we're here, ask us how we're feeling, do we have any symptoms, yada, yada, yada. But everybody's incredibly nice and it's been relatively smooth and as pleasant as quarantine can possibly be. So we are day 18, we have three more days to go and then, yeah, we have the next leg of the journey to figure out. Oh, but we have a patch of grass. And we get to be outside and that is like a huge improvement so i am totally okay uh with our little situation here and probably going a little bit crazy <laughs> ah. <sighs> so close this is our ride home so we're going to see so we can get to Curiosity. 24 hours to get to Vava'u. We have like this tiny little room booked where we can store all of our stuff. And as a fan, that was a big selling point. And the cool thing is for the price of this, for the both of us was cheaper than one flight. This is how the locals travel, especially right now because well, the airline got closed down when COVID started and there's a new one starting, but the very first flight ever is supposed to be tomorrow. I don't know if I don't want to be on the first flight. I'm actually looking forward to it. It's like an, a smooth introduction into sailing. <laughs> Getting our sea legs back? <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself. like this little smack of reality of like you're gonna get there but prepare yourself she's gonna look a little rough don't panic <laughs> uh, 
And then I tell myself, it doesn't even matter. I don't care what she looks like. I'll fix it. I'm just so happy to be here. This ferry is used by locals to get to the outer islands and transport goods, but is rarely used by tourists. Our Airbnb host, Ofa, is originally from Vava'u, and she takes this ferry a few times a year to visit family. So she gave us a few tips for our trip, and the biggest was to book the cabin. She said, it'll give you space to work and you'll sleep much better. Thank you, Ofa. You were so right. Totally worth it. Speechless. <laughs> hey! Hey! Welcome back. Okay. Welcome back. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, no. man. oh, feels good. Oh man, it is bright. <laughs> okay. Good morning. We are here obviously. Uh, well, I guess here is at our friend Kel and Adriana. They have been, you're going to hear their names a lot because I'm probably going to be constantly saying how thankful and grateful we are that they're our friends and that they've been helping us so much through this entire process. Because while we had an, a huge crate full of supplies shipped here, and then of course we weren't here to accept it. And then we weren't here to unload it and put it on our boat and everything else. So anyway, they have been storing our crate for us this entire time in their car part. <laughs> they pulled out some of the food for us that was going to expire, so it has been open once, but they haven't opened it in... Since ugh. February. Woo! Or March, I guess. <laughs> March, maybe. Oh. So that's when it finally got here. Okay, Christmas time! What do you want to look for first? I have no idea. Take out the rest of the food. See maybe. if any of our chocolate made it. Yeah, maybe food and all the supplies for the fuel tanks, maybe, since that's one of our first projects. Or the dinghy. Oh, yeah? The dinghy. Yeah, everything we need for the dinghy. Yeah. Okay. Dinghy okay. and. Dinghy and tanks. Tanks. Yeah. Okay. Ah! They survived! They survived. So we grabbed a few things out, mainly the dinghy cleaner and the food that we were worried about bugs, mice, rats, whatever, <laughs> getting to. And next stop is the boat. First, First time, time we're going to see Curiosity in, I think, a year, almost to the day. 
Like that part is just. Okay, here we go. It's been a long time. I don't know why, but I'm nervous for some reason. Woo! So what does a beloved sailboat look like after enduring a couple of cyclones Whoa, and baby. being left for an additional seven unintended months? Well, wow. oh my gosh. The enclosure is toast. Goner. These used to be this color. Not anymore. A couple little cockroaches. Crap. I'm so sorry. Whoa. This was new line. Not I'm so sorry. <laughs> Boy. That's what we'll find out next week. If you can't wait that long, check us out on Instagram for day to day updates and stories. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of this journey. <laughs>